when we were talking about all this stuff uh, yesterday in Rochester, we got a question from the audience uh, where a musician was very concerned that he felt that you know music was becoming free and people didn't feel that they had to pay for it anymore. Uh, and my response to that is that uh, that's not necessarily what's happening, but even if it is, it's not necessarily a bad thing because there are still ways to make money through music even if people aren't necessarily paying for it the way they used to. Uh, since we were just looking at the licensing on, on Magnatune, I'm just going to do a little bit of personal history. You know, I was, as I mentioned before, I was on Warner Brothers for close to 10 years, or maybe it was five years on Warners and five years on Indies, and I did not make a dime. Uh, as an artist on Warner Brothers. I made some money as a composer. I made some publishing money. I made some money as a performer when we were touring live. I made a lot of money selling t-shirts. Um, but I didn't make any money selling CDs. Uh, the record company made some, but I didn't see any of that. Uh, so one of the things that's great about the last say, 15, 20 years is that technology has made it not just possible to reach a global audience, but it's also made it a lot cheaper cheaper to record professionally professional sounding stuff, radio ready material. So uh, when Too Much Joy launched our website about eight years ago, we put up all our music for free because uh, we weren't seeing a dime from the record company anyway. And some of our, our Warner Brothers records had fallen out of print. And uh, this is how the side project Wonderlick started. Jay and I didn't want the site to just be about old stuff we'd done 10 years ago. We wanted there to be some new stuff as well. So he and I went into the studio, recorded a new song. We just put it up as a free MP3. And we had a little patron of the arts program. We had a PayPal button. We said, hey, if you like what you hear, you can take whatever you want for free, but you know, maybe hit this button and donate some money to keep us recording. Um, we also had some old CDs for sale and some t-shirts for sale and things like that. I made more money in 24 hours doing that, basically giving, making the music available for free than I ever made uh, working 24-7 as a quote-unquote professional musician, you know, Warner Brothers recording artist. So that was really instructive to me. And the neat thing was uh, the donations that came in from fans, not everybody donated. Uh, a lot of people just downloaded the stuff for free, which was fine. We were inviting them to do that. Some people donated $1. Some people donated $150. Uh, the average donation turned out to be about $13, $15, so it, it turned out to be the price of a CD. Uh, but the thing was, we got enough money to keep recording, and because we didn't have to go to a label and get an advance in order to uh, make the records, we owned the sound recordings. We owned the publishing, we owned the sound recordings. And we've been able to, because of that, do a lot of licensing. We get our music in uh, movie trailers and TV shows. We've got a couple of theme songs on cable. Uh, and I'm making more money doing that, even though I got a full-time job at Rhapsody, than I ever did when I was working full-time on Warner Brothers. <laughs>